Hey YouTube family, this video is going to be about the missing boys from California City who it's now been actually about eight days since they have been missing and I noticed something a little while ago and I'm just going to point it out because it's it's important. This missing flyer or you know it, it actually came from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. So it's not just like a flyer that, you know, someone put together. It's the actual official missing information on these boys. And there's a lot of things that bother me about it. For one, you know, the fact that they're three and four. I always thought that the pictures seemed rather young. And then the fact, of course, that they both allegedly were wearing the same thing and weighed three or 35 pounds and had a height of three feet. Both of them exactly the same, right? So, to take a more extensive look into the organization, just so that people aren't thinking that it's just a flyer someone made and you know it was put up, this is an official government organization. And their website, the official website of the United States Government Department of Justice, is OJJDP, which is the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention. So, I'm going to go ahead and assume that they know the importance of using current photos and have the wherewithal to obtain current photos of missing and or exploited children. Okay? So let's talk about Oren or who that was actually named Sincere when he was born. Um, and his picture. This is, okay, he's, he's four years old as of right now. It's actually August 4th. He's actually a little Leo. Oh my gosh. So, um... He looks healthy in this picture. He doesn't appear to have any, you know, signs of abuse or, or neglect like on his on his face or in his weight. But he also doesn't look like he's four, right? This picture is the most current picture that I personally could find from searching on um, social media. And Trizel's brother has a few pictures up. That he took from, I think, when he visited last Thanksgiving. And I really don't like these pictures. Even though at least they show us that the boys were, were, were alive at the time. They clearly look unhappy. There's scars. And other people have, you know, pointed out where they appear to think that there's bruises. But his eyes just look unhappy. And this picture... You could see how tiny he is. I mean, how small he is. His legs, his hands, he looks malnourished. This is a picture of the biological mother with the same baby boy. And... You can clearly see, not only is he smiling from the inside out, but he looks much, much healthier. He actually looks like he was going to be, you know what I mean? Like a kind of, he wasn't going to be a skinny kid from the size of him in this photo. Okay, now let's go on. Next baby, who is three. Well, he wasn't in that picture. But I want to show you guys something that I found also on that same relative's profile. Does this look familiar? Thanksgiving 2009, it says it's the same picture. They didn't even get a picture from these alleged adoptive or, or foster parents. It came from the social media page of a relative who doesn't even locally live in the state from the last time he was around for the holidays. That is crazy to me. It's concerning. It leads me to believe that there are no current pictures, at least none that came after this day. And again, look at how thin this baby also looks. Okay, so now compare that picture 
to the one that, you know, we know that that is the one that they were using, to a photo that also came from the mother of that same baby boy, clearly happy and healthy. You can see his little, like, stomach, like, poking out over his pants, and, and his hands look almost bigger than they do in this picture. So this leads me to believe that what the mother was saying, not that I doubted her in the first place, but just for the people that did, because I saw a lot of nasty comments that what she was saying was true. I'm going to play it just so that people know what she said. And I know, I told them my last visit, when the visit started today, I said, when these kids used to be with her, they were fatter. My kids are skinny. They, they used to cry when they picked them up like at the end of the visit. They they weren't dressing them, they weren't cutting their hair when I, I still had rights, so I asked them, can they cut their hair? Their hair wasn't being cut. I just know, I know my kids and they, they was not happy with them. I felt it at visits, I told them, I told them, I told them. <laughs> it's, it's really heartbreaking. I hate seeing the um, interview with her because it's like, you could see her pain, and my question is, and is going to be, why would they use old photos? And the only conclusion that is the option as to why they would is because there are no photos more current than these that they could have gain access to like I said I had to come across this photo and maybe they wouldn't want to I don't know I, I, all I know is that they've had the phone since this past Tuesday and if these are the only photos that they could find the most current photos that could even be found of these boys and that's that's very concerning because what parent doesn't take pictures of their children I probably have hundreds to thousands of anyone who has a child has so many pictures of their children. So let me know what you guys think about this or if you guys have a better explanation for me or anyone else as to why they would be using photos of missing children. Because we can all agree that like adults don't, ch don't, don't, don't usually regularly change a lot within the course of, you know, a year or two. And it wouldn't be as big of a deal if they used photos that weren't from the current year for an adult. But when it comes to three-year-olds and four-year-olds, they drastically change, especially when you look at what they've been through in the course of a year, let alone two or, or three. So, I mean, there's people that probably wouldn't even recognize these boys based on the pictures because of what they've been through since they've been living with that family. So again, let me know what you guys think. I uh, My heart just breaks for this family and I want these boys to be found no matter what the outcome is because it's extremely sad. And um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to update you guys on whatever I, I come across or find.